Hurry up. Let's go. Get on the bus. Let's go. Recruit Training Command is the quarter deck of the United States Navy. Good order and discipline will be maintained 24-7. Proper military posture will be maintained 24-7. Every enlisted sailor begins their naval career here, and our mission is fairly simple. It's to transform civilians into smartly disciplined, physically fit sailors ready for follow-on training and service to the fleet, and while doing so, to instill in them the highest values of honor, courage, and commitment. You are no longer a civilian. Whatever you were before is now over. You are about to begin a journey that's going to make you a part of the greatest naval force the world has ever known. This training will not be easy. It wasn't meant to be. Our training environment is controlled chaos. Are you guys not and while it may not seem like that to the recruits, each and every event has meaning and purpose. You're going to sound off at the top of your lungs. Do you understand? Yes, I do, sir! We are designed to develop skill sets that sailors can carry throughout their entire career. We push hard on physical fitness. Watch standing. I'm looking, man. Look! Try it. Read it. Look. And creating a warrior mindset. Now with the mental scan, you're going to be focused on your mind. A true body, mind, and soul approach. When I say gas, 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 you'll have 15, one, five seconds. To down your face, tighten your straps, check floor seal, and put your hands in your pockets. All of our recruits receive training that will help them the second they get to the fleet. firefighting, damage control, weapons and seamanship. Our recruits get hands-on training and application with them all. execute the mission and the next time I see you you'll be sailors who y'all neighbors everything they learn is tested in a battle stations identify yourself chief division 001 man in ready for battle station chief very well do not relax anything that is on you a 24 hour event where the recruit ceases to exist and a sailor is forged. Navy boot camp really is a machine with a swarm of moving parts, all working towards the same goal making a sailor. Good morning. Welcome to the Navy's Recruit Training Command and today's graduation ceremony. We're very excited to have the families and friends of our Navy's newest sailors here. You are about to watch the formal transition of your recruits to full-fledged sailors. Today, 
your recruit will officially join the world's greatest and most powerful Navy. The Department of the Navy has determined that the men and women graduating here today have what it takes and are ready for service as a sailor. Today's graduation is not just for the graduates, but for you as well. Today, you will become part of the Navy family. Your sailor will continue to depend on you for love, support, and encouragement as they progress through their Navy careers. Their time in service will bring about new challenges and take them to ports and duty stations across the globe. In addition, you will meet and network with many Navy families here and throughout your sailor's time in service. Without the steadfast support of Navy families, this day would not be possible. So on behalf of the United States Navy, thank you. Take pride in what your sailor has accomplished here and the tremendous journey they're about to embark on. Thank you all for what you do to support our nation's Navy and enjoy today's ceremony.
As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. Flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order.
Division One. Division 9, 2, five. Division 9, 2, 5 provides the state flag, color guard, and drum line units for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you.
divisions. Right. Face. Section leaders. Fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions. Counter. March. Divisions, hold. Prepare for review. At a normal interval, dress left, dress. Ready, front, left, face. At close interval, dress right, dress. Ready, front, parade, right, face, parade, rest. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand. And we ask this as a courtesy to our viewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command. Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Lieutenant Jessica Morales, Recruit Training Command's Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today, you will see seven divisions comprised of 482 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon join the most powerful Navy in the world. 
Please draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Alexandra Whiting from San Diego, California. Let's give her a hand, folks. Performing today is the staff unit on their seventh week of training, the triple threat unit on their ninth week of training, and the state flags unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. The senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions of their division commanders and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from there, right. Division one, three, Five. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Christina Leonard. Petty Officer First Class Stephen Baylor. Petty Officer First Class Shayna Decker. And their recruit chief petty officer, Seaman James Hendricks from Lumberton, North Carolina. Division one, three, six. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Bradley Kennedy. Petty Officer First Class Esfraín Adame. Petty Officer First Class Carl Miguel. And their recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Sebastian Edmosillo from El Paso, Texas. Division 1, 3, 7. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Edwin Baker. Petty Officer First Class, Jason Lovin. Petty Officer Second Class, Brian Mendestin. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Austin Shoemaker from Dayton, Texas. Division One, Three, Eight. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Oscar De La Rosa. Petty Officer First Class, Kenny McDaniels. Petty Officer Second Class, and Manuel Nieves. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Apprentice Sertonio Milner from Colleen, Texas. Division One, Three, Nine. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Mikhail Allen. Petty Officer First Class, Silvio Osorio. Petty Officer Second Class, Kimberly Hammond and their Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Joseph Lorenzo from Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Division one, four, zero. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Dale Bouloyot. Petty Officer First Class, Michael Brown. Petty Officer First Class, Bryant Martinez. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Michael Calloway from Gainesville, Florida. Division 9, 2, 5. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Marcus Wyatt. Petty Officer Second Class Ashley Hauser. Petty Officer Second Class Andrew Oda. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Wesley Dutez from Miami, Florida. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a 
moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, Bosun and Honor Guard, take their places for arrival honors. This time-honored tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party. Forces Reserve Director, Maritime Operations, arriving.
be seated. Color Guard, parade the colors. Will the guests please rise? Present arms.
Retire the colors. Present arms. Order, arms. Chaplain Stillwater will now offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Source of togetherness, here we are, gathered together from near and far, sailor, instructor, family and friend, for a moment, I ask your heart, please lend. These recruits, though near, have come so far, set so very high, they cleared the bar. RDCs, all staff, behind the scene, working tirelessly, on them we lean. Families, too, behind at home, support and missing, their loved one on loan. Sailor heads held high, they are walking like they talk. From danger and trouble, you know they will not balk. Wherever in the world life takes them next, they can go there with pride, their abilities flexed. So thank you, great one, for bringing us here, together at last, from far, and near. Amen. Our guest may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. President of Gun Fort, ma'am. Very well. The Sailor's Creed. I.
Lieutenant Captain, I present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Very well, commence the review. All right, sir.
left or right, please. What are you reporting, sir? Very well. Good morning, I'm Captain Kirkwood Brooks, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. I'm pleased to welcome families and friends to our graduation ceremony, and we look forward to sharing this momentous occasion with you. With us today is our reviewing officer, Rear Admiral Kenneth Blackman, U.S. Fleet Forces Reserve Director of Maritime Operations, and our guest of honor, Captain Joel G. Stewart, Commodore of Naval Beach Group 1. I'd like to acknowledge and thank the representatives of Naval Beach Group 1 as a fleet sponsor of Division 139. Our fleet sponsor program allows sailors from Navy commands to provide valuable mentorship and motivation to our Navy's future sailors while they're in training at Recruit Training Command. I cannot thank all of our visitors enough for your continued support, and I'm sure your sailors are grateful for your encouragement throughout their time at Recruit Training Command. I would also like to welcome all the veterans in our audience and say thank you for your, for your dedicated service to our country. Would all of our veterans please stand so we can give you a round of applause. Division 925 graduates today. They are the state flags unit, providing the 50 state flags, District of Columbia, and U.S. Territory flags, Drum Corps, and Color Guard. Please join me in giving them and the six other graduating divisions here today a round of applause for their outstanding performances. This is where our Navy heritage meets the future and where these young men and women enter the profession of arms. The staff of Recruit Training Command is dedicated to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors such as those standing here today. These sailors have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of the man and recruit training, and they have earned the right to wear their uniform recognized throughout the world as a symbol of freedom. They and others like them serve as the bedrock of our naval forces, and they will join other sailors around the world to give our Navy its combat edge and enable us to help keep this nation secure. This training group is ready to graduate and serve in the world's most powerful Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 482 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Hooray! Rest. Rear Admiral Blackman will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Brooks, our guest of honor, Captain Stewart, and today's special guest, Captain Klasky. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman David Lee, Division 925 from Irvine, California, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Lake Defiance Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Seaman Lee receives a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Seaman Elisha McCatry, Division 138 from Norfolk, Virginia, 
is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman McCatchy is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Airman Apprentice Nicholas Paxson, Division 137 from Hanoverton, Ohio, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Airman Apprentice Paxson is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Fireman Tyler Vandervoss, Division 925 from South Windsor, Connecticut, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Fireman Vandervoss is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor! The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Airman Isaiah T, Division 137, from Odessa, Texas, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Airman T is awarded a letter of accommodation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Airman Ian Stewart, Division 137 from Worthington, Minnesota, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of accommodation. Airman Stewart, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor!
Divisions attention. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. I have the distinct pleasure this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, Rear Admiral Kenneth Blackman, U.S. Fleet Forces Reserve Director of Maritime Operations. A native of Chesterfield, New Jersey, he was commissioned in 1989. As a career surface warfare officer, he served aboard the destroyer USS David R. Ray and the amphibious, amphibious assault ship USS America. He affiliated with the Navy Reserve in 1993. He has deployed five times in support of multiple operations and mobilized the U.S. Pacific Fleet and U.S. Central Command. He has commanded Navy Reserve Littoral Combat Ship Squadron 2, Navy Reserve Expeditionary Strike Group 3, Navy Reserve Fleet Technical Support Center Detachment 204, Navy Reserve Recruiting Support Unit Detachment 466, and Navy Reserve Mobile Mine Assembly Unit 3. As a flag officer, he served as a Deputy Commander of U.S. Third Fleet, and he assumed duties as the U.S. Fleet Forces Reserve Director of Maritime Operations in October 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit training command welcome to Rear Admiral Blackman. Good morning, and thank you for the kind introduction. What a great day of celebration today. It's my privilege to join you today to welcome these 482 sailors into the world's finest Navy. For over a century, Naval Station Great Lakes has transformed over three million civilians into highly trained sailors. The program here has always been rigorous, demanding more from recruits than they probably thought possible. But each of them has selflessly answered the call of duty to serve a cause greater than themselves. They've passed battle stations and proven themselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy. The recruit division commanders, instructors, and staff at RTC have taken on the unique and honorable challenge of shaping recruits into the finest American sailors maintaining the Navy's high standards. We thank them for their dedication. Most importantly, we acknowledge these sailors' families and friends for the integral role you've played. You helped shape your recruit into a person who wanted to stand up for their country, who understand the Navy values of honor, courage, and commitment. And during the past eight weeks, you've tirelessly supported them. We now welcome you into the Navy family. Sailors, you're about to embark on one of the most challenging adventures of your life. You've chosen to serve your country at a time when it is most needed, when America must show a strong presence throughout the world, on the seas and in the skies. You've taken on the responsibility of defending our nation and are now prepared for that tremendous duty. You've earned not only mine, but the respect of a grateful nation. Congratulations, sailors. May God bless you, the United States Navy, and this great nation. I look forward to seeing you in the fleet. Thank you.
will now receive a salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Brooks. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags, post, section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liberty Corps!